And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Wednesday, March 27th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. Before I get into that, just want to remind you guys, as always, to tip or donate, get your comments recognized, make sure to go to the following link. That is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment down below. So with that being said, let's get into what we are going to talk about for today. So we're only doing two segments for the day. I have to cut the show a little bit short. Um, But tomorrow we'll be back to the full hour and Friday as well. But just today... A half hour show. So with what we are going to talk about, we're going to talk about some of the announcements the NFL made. We'll talk about um, there being a doubleheader on Christmas next season. So I'll talk about that. Uh, some of the other things as well, uh, what platforms are going to be broadcasting uh, playoff games. We'll get into that as well as talking about also the game that's going to be played in Brazil the first week of the regular season. We'll talk about that as well. Then in the second part of the show, I'll talk about an article from DraftKings. Well, from Bleach Report, talking about DraftKings, uh, their win-loss, to, well, their over-unders uh, for each team uh, post-free agency. So we'll get into that as well. So, yeah, short show, but that is what we are going to get into. So with that being said, let's get into the first topic, which is talking about um, the Christmas games as well as some other uh, news as well. So let's get right into it. So the NFL uh, will continue the tradition of playing games on Christmas Day in 2024. But here's the thing. That game will be played on a Wednesday. Now, I'll get into that in a second. So two matchups are scheduled for Christmas Day with teams playing on the previous Saturday to allow for recovery. So basically their logic is, okay, we'll have the teams that are playing on Christmas play on Saturday, and you'll have the same amount of rest period as you would uh, if it was a Sunday, if you're playing on Sunday going into Thursday Night Football. Okay, so those teams will be playing on Saturday, then they'll play on the Wednesday. Okay, so the NFL has a history of playing games on Christmas Day with 30 games played since 1971, including two playoff games. I actually did not know that. That's interesting, two playoff games. Um, Christmas Day games have consistently generated high television ratings with significant viewership. So, yeah, I mean, there's no surprise why they decided to do this. Uh, Roger Goodell stated that Wednesday games will not become a regular occurrence, though. And there hasn't been an increase in injuries from midweek games. Uh, the NFL schedule for 2024 includes games every week on Sunday, Monday, Thursday, and some late season contests on Saturday. But you also have to factor in as well, you have the Black Friday game and now the Christmas doubleheader. So there is that one weekend. I think I took a screenshot of it. Okay, maybe I didn't. But you're going to have football every single day. Actually, hold on. I'll go to the... uh, Here, this is what I'll do. Go to the calendar. So, you'll have... Obviously, you'll have the Monday Night Football game on the 23rd. Then you're going to have the Christmas doubleheader on the 25th. Then you're going to have Thursday Night Football the next night. The 27th, there'll be nothing. Then you have Saturday games. Then you have the Sunday slate. And then, of course, you have college football as well. Um, so there is a, there's a lot going on on, uh, on the 30th and on the 31st, I think there's a uh, college football games as well. So yeah, there's a lot of football. The 27th does not get a lot of love. Um, that's just going to be a day to, you know, get ready for the, the, um, the second half of that, uh, crazy, uh, week of football, but that's basically what's going to happen. So you're going to have football Wednesday, football Thursday, no football Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, and Monday, uh, and Tuesday as well. So uh, I believe so. That is uh, that's going to be a crazy, uh, crazy time. Um, but yeah, the the main thing though that I wanted to talk about is the fact that there is going to be two games on Christmas. So again, not everybody celebrates Christmas. I understand that. Um, but for me, I mean, I don't think the players are going to be crazy about it, and I'm not crazy about it either. Now again, it's my own opinion, but. I kind of just want to relax on Christmas. I don't want to have to, you know, see, it's more from a a fantasy thing, too, where this past season I had to stress on Christmas because I was playing in my fantasy playoffs. And I want to just enjoy my holiday without having to stress over that. So now 
these games could play a huge role in whether you're in the playoffs or if you know you're playing in a league that has a punishment and you're in you're you know you're battling it out for who's going to finish in last place and you got to stress out over that too so there's that also i just i just feel like it's going to be a distraction for me just in general you know because i want to at least just go to where i go on christmas and enjoy myself and you know that that's what i want to do but now you're gonna have football on and now i know that i'm gonna have my face glued to the tv when I'm with my family, because, you know, I, I'm a nut job when it comes to football. I want to watch it. And the NFL knows that people are going to watch, so that's why they're doing this. But I'm not really a big fan of it. Um, and, you know, I, I was I was making jokes of it, but soon, yeah, you're going to see uh, you're going to see football being played every day of the week. And we already saw that during COVID. So COVID kind of maybe gave them this idea of, okay, we could play football whenever. Because you saw Tuesday night football. You saw Wednesday night football. You know, now there's Friday games. You got Thursday and Monday night have been around for a while. Saturday. You know, next year, Tuesday's the only only day that is not going to have a football game. At least for the NFL. Um, so, yeah. Th now, Roger Goodell did say that it's not going to be a regular thing, but who knows? Who knows? They could be like, hey, you know, this is a great idea. We're going to keep doing this. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. Again, like, yeah, it's more football. And that weekend that I just talked about is going to be jam-packed with games, which is awesome. But, again, there's a part of me that isn't a big fan of it. Because, now, Thanksgiving is a different story. That's a tradition. You know, for me... Like, in the article I was reading, it said the tradition of football games on Christmas. Well, Thanksgiving is an every year thing. Christmas, it's every, you know, couple years or so. You know, you have football on around the holidays or around Christmas or on Christmas. Um, you know, now you got Christmas falling smacked in the middle of the week. And they're like, okay, we're, we're going to put games on that day. So, but, you know... That, again, it's all because of the viewers. It's all because of the audience. If the games aren't doing great, then they probably wouldn't do it. But it's because we love the sport so much and we're going to continue to watch it that this is why they're doing that. And on top of that, look at the NBA. The NBA, Christmas was their day. Now all of a sudden the NFL is like, no, not so fast. We're taking it away from you. So that's the other thing as well. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just in the minority, but I'm not... I, I kind of want, I like when football's on Thanksgiving. I love that. But for Christmas, I, I think um, maybe you'd kind of do away with that. But again, Roger Goodell said it's not going to be, said it's not going to be a regular thing. So we'll see. But I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but again, I could be in the minority when it comes to that. So, all right. So the other things as well. So I wanted to talk about, well, let's talk about the playoffs uh, for a second. Now, again, the playoffs are ways away. We're not even into – we didn't even know – we don't know who's playing where on, on uh, what week. Well, we know the opponents, but we don't know, um, you know, how the specific schedule is going to be. So Amazon Prime will be broadcasting a playoff game next season. So I know Peacock obviously did that, um, but Amazon Prime is going to be calling a game. So uh, – they have reportedly paid an estimated $120 million for the exclusive rights to broadcast the wild card, uh, a wild card playoff game. So you'll have them, you'll have NBC, you'll have CBS, Fox, uh, and ESPN as well, all calling games uh, that weekend. Obviously, ESPN does the game on Monday night now. It's Super Wild Card Weekend, the whole deal. Uh, but now Amazon Prime, they'll be uh, taking a playoff game instead of Peacock. Um, so, uh, this move fo this move follows the success of the wild card playoff game broadcast on Peacock during the previous postseason, which resulted in significant subscriber growth and viewership. That's where everything's going. That is where everything's going is streaming, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so Fox is doing the Super Bowl uh, next season. Uh, during the next regular season, streaming platforms will feature Thursday night football games exclusively on Amazon Prime, which you know, one game exclusively on Peacock and one international series game exclusively on ESPN plus now the last thing I wanted to talk about here is that Brazil game so that Brazil game the Friday 
well, the night after um, uh, the first game of the season, opening kickoff, um, that Friday, the Philadelphia Eagles will be playing in Brazil. Now, it's coming down to two teams. It's going to be on Peacock. It's going to be either the Green Bay Packers or the Cleveland Browns. So I know I made a joke, I think on this show at least. I, I know I made it uh, off air to people, but I think I might have said it here too. What if it's the Giants? Well, it's not going to be the Giants because I said, you know, Saquon Barkley facing his former team in Brazil. I mean, it's going to the, the, the script just writes itself there. Well, it's not going to happen. It's going to be either the Packers or the Browns. And those are intriguing uh, matchups. Uh, those could be either opponent. Um, that would be an intriguing um, game to look forward to. Um, you know, the Browns, hopefully Nick Chubb and Deshaun Watson will be playing in that game. I mean, I, I, Deshaun Watson, I think so. But Nick Chubb, we'll, we'll see. Um but yeah, that's an intriguing matchup. And then of course you have the Packers, um, a team that I talked about, you know, recently this week. You know, Jordan loves comments on, hey, this team can make it to, can make a Super Bowl run. That would also be an intriguing matchup as well. So, either of those opponents, I'd be fine with. Now again, am I crazy about this game being played on a Friday, the first week of the season? If it was, this was later in the season, it would be different. Again, I, I'm not a fan of it either because, for me, I'm used to, all right, here's the first game of the season on NBC Thursday night, and then you got everything else Sunday, and then you got the Monday night game as well. And sometimes there was a Monday night doubleheader, uh, which they're, they're going to be doing more of those too, which, again, not a fan of that either because it used to be, well, not it used to be, but... Um, at least the first week of the season, you had one game was played, then you had the game on the West Coast, that would play after that. But now you got, you had a game start, and then a game would start an hour later, or a half hour, 40 minutes later, whatever it is, and they'd both be on at the same time. And last year, yeah, you had both, you had two games on at the same time. You had the Titans and the Dolphins and the Packers and the Giants, both on at the same time. Which, again, like, if you have multiple screens in your house, that's not a big, you know, that's not a big deal. You can have both games on. But for some people, you only got one TV, you know, you can't, you got to pick and choose what you want to watch. So, yeah, I've been doing a lot of complaining. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I don't like change, but it's just, I, but I, I think I have a legit complaint where you have two games playing at the same time. Because, you, you know, you want to be able to watch both. Some people, you can't do that. You know, because I could put a game on my phone, I could put a game on the TV, and then you go. I got both games on at the same time. But, like I said, for other people, you might not have that luxury. So, and I, I think more people have multiple screens, so they're able to do that. But, I don't know. I just feel like you don't want to have games. I mean, again, Sunday's different because, you know, you got the full slate. And I, I, I get that. But I'm just talking about, like, on Monday night. You know, these are nationally televised games as opposed to Sunday where, you know, if you have the Sunday ticket, yeah, you'll be able to watch the games. But, you know, if you don't have that, you're just watching whatever's on your local TV station. So, um, yeah, so like I said, I I've done a lot of complaining in this segment. Um, again, I mean, back to the, the Christmas games, yeah, I'm going to watch them. But am I a fan that it's, that it's going to fall on a Wednesday? Not, not, not really. I mean, again, because the NFL is saying injury injuries are, are, are not a risk here. You know, they did the studies. They did the work, the, the research. But I don't know. I don't think the players are going to be that crazy about it. I'm not really that crazy about it. Because, I mean, I mean, who knows who's playing in those games. But I don't know. I, I'm just not a fan of it. I know the players probably aren't fans of it either, but but that's um that's going to become a thing. I mean, again, Roger Goodell Goodell said it's not going to be a regular thing, but at least for this year, you know, there's going to be games played on a Wednesday, and we but again, we've seen that before. COVID showed us that the Steelers and the Ravens, who actually were supposed to play on Thanksgiving, that was supposed to be the night game on Thanksgiving, and then. You know, the Ravens, their whole roster got COVID, and you had 
all these backups playing. RG3 had to start, and it just, it, it was weird, you know, seeing a game being played on a Wednesday. A standalone game on a Wednesday. But that, that, was, that was 2020. Games were played every single day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, and now, you flash forward to 2024, you got games on Friday, you got games on Monday, Thursday, and now Wednesday. Not Tuesday. Tuesday is not getting any love. Sorry, Tuesday. But, and then of course, Saturday, Sunday. It, it, I, I, I mean, again, it's, it's great, but it's also not great. It's great for us, but, you know, for the players, uh, again, they're, they're probably not that enthusiastic over it. So, um, but that's just, uh, that, that's 2024 for you. So with that, we're going to take our first break of the show. And then when we come back, we are going to talk about, uh, an article on Bleacher Report that I saw. It, uh, showed DraftKings, uh, win totals over unders for every team, uh, after free agency. So that's what we will talk about when we come back from our first break uh, or our first and only break of the show. So with that being said, stick around and we'll be right back here on the GSMC football podcast. <laughs> 